In the previous video, I've already shown you how to put together this tank chassis and build this Arduino-based uh, Bluetooth uh, robot. In this video, I'll concentrate only on the software for the Arduino and how to build the iPhone app or Android app. All right, so on your phone, Android or iOS, go ahead and open up Blink. Sign in or create an account. And we're going to create a new project. Call it whatever you want to. The board type we need to select Arduino 101. And then this token, we're going to add this to our sketch. What you can do is you can go ahead and push this button to email it to yourself. We'll use that a little bit later in this project here. Okay, so let's just add some buttons. We're going to have a button for fo for forward and reverse. So when you hold both of the forward buttons, both tracks will turn forward. If you hold both reverse buttons, both tracks will turn reverse. Let's see here, I'm going to do a slider. I don't need that big one. Bluetooth beta. Alright, so <clears throat> when we click the slider, we want it to go to a virtual pin. We're going to start with zero. And we want it to be a value from zero to 255. That's great. When we click this one, we're going to go to virtual one. You're going to see that we're just going to fill these virtual pins one by one. I think I messed up virtual one. On. I messed up on the slider. Let's try again. Virtual zero. All right, our remote control is completely done. Uh, remember that we emailed this token to ourselves. We're going to put that in our Arduino sketch. Once we get the Arduino loaded, we'll click on Bluetooth. You'll see the device down here. We'll be able to connect to it. And then we'll be able to run the app. So let's switch over to the uh, Arduino app. For programming this, you can leave the power disconnected for the motor driver. We're just going to plug in a USB cable and program this thing up. The code, uh, you can get to it from the Hackster project or my uh, personal blog, Electron Hacks. But anyway, you're going to go to GitHub and look for this Arduino 101 Bluetooth Low Energy Blink Adafruit Motor V2. So we're going to just download this repository here. We're going to go ahead and extract it. And then we can just execute the uh, sketch here. This is December 2016. You're going to need the latest uh, uh, Arduino IDE. This is 1.6.113. Just a few uh, versions earlier is when they started doing the Intel stuff. So you might as well get the latest one. 
two things two things you might check is go to the boards manager <clears throat> make sure you have the intel board so arduino 101 we can see that we've got it installed here you could uh, update to the latest version if you like if you need to and then also we're going to need this Adafruit library so let's go into include library we're going to manage our libraries and we're going to make sure we have the Adafruit motor library so Ada Adafruit motor shield library v2 you can see that I have already installed it but you can install it from here or update to the latest version so then we're good to go this sketch is pretty much ready to go notice this token we emailed ourselves the token let me go ahead and grab it here and you can see that uh, blink has emailed me the token for my new app I need to copy that thing we're gonna put it right in here that's all we need to do but I'm gonna breeze through this really quick just uh, explaining what's going on we're um, setting up the motor shield here's where we're defining the motors we're just using two if you wanted to use four motors you could go ahead and define two more motors here um, this is the name of the device so if you wanted to make five of these and turn them on in the same room you might want to rename your device so that it comes up at, with a distinct name uh, when you're searching for it uh, with Bluetooth so it's gonna connect wait for connections it's gonna print this stuff alright so here's the loop nothing really happens in the loop it just does the uh, blink poll this is the standard poll that blink does and if we get back something written to v0 remember that was our slider we're going to bring that value and we're going to set it to the motor 1 and motor 2 speeds um, if we get v1 we're going to get move motor 1 forward v2 is motor 2 forward v3 is back v4 four, v4 is back that's really it let's go ahead and make sure we've got the right board which is obviously the Arduino 101 we're gonna make sure we got the right port <clears throat> let's go ahead and save and upload now what I've done is I've gotten a object that I can set my my chassis on so it's just kinda of stuck stuck here and the motors will spin without it rolling off of my desk go ahead and power this thing up and see what happens here so we're gonna have, go ahead and check this Bluetooth guy here see if we can connect connect this is what our device is called so and uh, it connected instantly that's good I'm gonna click this play button to run see what happens I can tell that my motors are going two different directions here so I'm gonna swap two of these wires real quick so we can at least be rotating in the right direction I don't know which wires are which so let's just try it That's a little better. We can try changing the speed. 